I literally spend like 30 minutes a day on my real estate business. That's it. Unless I have to meet somebody like to show a condo or look at one to list or go to an inspection or a closing or something like that. All right, you, the floor is yours, brother. Yeah, so first question I got for you, Ricky, is what do you do to stay organized? Because I've been making these calls. It's been going great, you know, no listings like off the calls yet, but I have appointments where people are just like, yeah, call me in a year, give me their email, stuff like that. Like things are getting set up down the line. And, you know, I, I just kind of, I, like I saw in one of your videos, you had a big old calendar. So I went out and bought a big old calendar so I can kind of write stuff down. And I guess I'm just struggling, like staying organized and, you know, staying with the follow-ups and stuff like that. Do you use like a CRM or anything like that? Like when you say big calendar, are you talking about like a, like a calendar book, like a notebook kind of deal? No, like where it's like covering half my desk, you know, like it's just a flat, uh, big, calendar that I can write in the boxes and stuff kind of like when I talk to somebody phone and stuff like that appointments stuff like that but I still feel I kind of get like a little disorganized you know all that like you saw me with one of those yeah one of your videos from a long time ago you had like everything on your uh, big calendar so I just kind of I don't know I don't remember that I might have my assistant might have had one for a second or whatever but what what I have is is I have a one page one week per page book right so so when I open up my book I'll show you I'll show you it's right here Right, so, so what I do is every day I have a legal pad. So this is today's legal pad. So what I do is I tear off today. So in the morning I'll tear off today's and it'll be fresh. And then I'll take yesterday's, which is now today's, and I'll look over it and I'll transfer stuff from yesterday I didn't get done or things I need to follow up on. I'll condense it down to this new page, which is today. Also, I have this one page, it's one week per page. Okay, so when I open it up like this, boom, that's one week. It's Monday through Sunday, okay? And so when I open up that page, I have my whole week right there. I know all the appointments I have for this week. If I have to schedule an appointment for next week, I just flip the page and write it in. And then like I have appointments already for next week and the week after, the week after that, already in there. So when I go next week, I'll look, you know, and I'll know what I have coming up. So what I do is, is this legal pad, it's literally like my bookmark of my schedule book, right? And so like my legal pad is in here. This is like all the daily stuff. And then when I, I close it up, boom, I have it right there. Then when I open it, I open it to my legal pad. I've got everything I need to think about for the day right here. And then everything that's scheduled for the day is on that day or I've condensed it to the legal pad. So everything for me is notebooks and a, a real schedule book that I actually write on. You know, uh, I'm not that organized, right? I think I think a question for you is is like when you say unorganized, does that mean like you're really busy and you have like a lot going on and it's hard to keep up? Yeah, kind of. It's like you know because I do this cold calling and then in between the calls, I'm on these Facebook groups, these wholesaler groups, you know, trying to collect information, connect people, and I just kind of I, I feel like I'm doing a couple things at once and I kind of tend to like misplace a name or something or a number and. Then, it's just kind of, you know, because I, I do, I have the notepad too. I got the same notepad, you know, it's just mm -hmm. on my desk at all the times. And I still seem to kind of like, you know, get a, a little lost sometimes, I guess. Well, yeah, here's the thing, man, like growth and being more productive and becoming more successful is going to come. You're going to have moments where you feel unorganized because you have to, you have to get into that chaos, that chaos area. You know, that's just part of growth. Like one of my agents reached out me, to me today. And he was like, he's so busy, he's getting overwhelmed. He's like, what do I do? How do I stay organized and all that? And I'm like, dude, you have to just go through that. That's part of that's part of the path. And I was like, listen, I'm like that every day. You have to learn how to be calm in the storm. You know what I mean? Like not worry and just kind of let things happen. You do the best you can do. You need a central location where you're putting all your ideas, like on that notebook. Now you know that you kind of lose sight of, like you lose a name here or there, right? So you know that's a problem now. So now every time you have you every time a name happens, just write it on that notebook and then it's right there. And then wherever you're gonna transfer them to. So I don't have like a CRM. I have um, you know a place where I put all my contacts to do a weekly email, you know, constant contacts. But outside of that, that's, that doesn't keep up, that doesn't like organize anything or keep me on schedule with different things or follow up or whatever, you know what I mean? I keep all my follow-up on my schedule. So like 
this one week per page, if I want to follow up with a client, I put it on my schedule book. Like if I want to follow up Friday or next Friday or next month, I actually flip to that day and put it on there. That's what works for me. You know what I'm saying? So like different things work for different people as far as this. Some people like the Google Calendar stuff and they like to digitally put all their appointments in their phone on their calendar, stuff like that. That doesn't work for me, you know, but it works for some people. Yeah, I mean, it works for some people. I like to write it down. I like to see it. I like to hold it. I like to have it on a, on a notebook that I write on. So I think the moral of the story is, is you have to go through the chaos and like all that pain of being, like it's painful, you know? Yeah, it sucks. You hate yourself for it, but it's a good thing, you know, at the same time, so. Yeah, you ha it's just something you have to go through. You have to go through those busy moments and then learn how to handle them. What activities do you spend your time on right now? I know you don't really cold call anymore because you said you hit 100,000 calls and it's just people hitting you all the time, any line, and so I'm just kind of wondering like, where is your time at now? For like a daily Ricky schedule right now where you're at, mm -hmm. what does that kind of look like? So I get up, 4.30, I answer DMs for two hours, I hit the gym, and then uh, eat breakfast, and then I'm in my office right here at my house working. In terms of working, here's how it goes. The first 30 minutes is literally organizing my day. Um, taking that, that uh, legal pad and, and writing down all my priorities and really mapping out my entire day. I do that first. And I spend like 15, 20 minutes doing that. So it's like DMs, gym, breakfast, office. When I hit the office, it's like 15, 20 minutes, literally just planning my day, making sure all my schedule, my, my appointments are lined up. I know what I know where I have to be when I have to be there. The people I need to call, everything, all the projects I'm working on, social medias I have to post, podcasts, videos, whatever I'm doing. And then from there, I spend about 30 minutes on my real estate business, just making sure all my deals are in line making sure I don't have to follow up with anything or make sure title company or mortgage companies or whatever, making sure all my clients are, you know, are happy and everything's going good there. I literally spend like 30 minutes a day on my real estate business, that's it. Unless I have to meet somebody like to show a condo or look at one to list or go to an inspection or a closing or something like that. Now we're an hour into my, my work day, okay? At that point, it's literally from that point for the rest of the day, coaching calls. I'm literally on the phone with agents the rest of the day. You know, just coaching calls. Coaching calls all day long. Let's go back through it. 4.30 DMs, gym, breakfast, office, organize my day, work on my real estate business, and then coaching calls all day long. And then normally at the end of the day, like Mondays I do my team, a team call at 4 p.m. Central. Tuesdays I do live calls on YouTube at 4 p.m. Central. Wednesdays I do my team call at 4 p.m. Central. And Thursday I do this show. So at 4 p.m. Central, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm literally either live, doing a live show for you guys, or I'm doing a team call with my team. For an agent, it's the same thing, right? It's like, get up early, answer some messages, go to the gym, eat breakfast, get in the office, organize your day, look at your pending deals and active listings and see if there's anything you need to do there, and then just stay on the phone with clients all day. It's the same, it's the same exact schedule. Same exact schedule for me or for agents. Same exact thing. You should be on the phone all day long after that. Following up, cold calling new people, you know, checking on people, the whole nine yards, period. End of story.